Okay, today we're going to go over double lumen tube placement and the technique that I'm going to show you is direct laryngoscopy. So when you're going to uh, insert a double lumen tube, you go ahead and do laryngoscopy like normal. Then when you're ready to insert the double lumen tube, you're going to want the bronchial lumen in front of the tracheal lumen. So then when we, when we get our view, we go until this bronchial lumen gets to the level of the vocal cords. And then two things need to happen. We need to rotate this tube 90 degrees to the left and have an assistant remove this stylet for us as we advance into the trachea. On the view from the inside, you can see that once this blue cuff is at the level of the cords, we go ahead and rotate that tube to the left and have an assistant remove the stylet as we advance into the trachea. Once this double lumen tube is in, we're gonna to need to ventilate the patient, so we need our adapter here. So we hook up our adapter, then we inflate our cuffs here. So we put some air in the tracheal cuff, and then we put some air in the bronchial cuff, and you really only want to put two to three cc's of air in this bronchial cuff. Now it's time to ventilate the patient. Once you can verify that you can ventilate the patient, we need to um, check to see whether or not this is correctly placed. So the first method is auscultation, and so to do that, you need to clamp one of the lumens. So here I'm going to clamp the bronchial lumen. So if this is correctly placed, I should only hear breath sounds on the right side. And you can see that that's true. I can only hear it on the right side. And then if I want to go ahead and clamp the tracheal lumen, I should only hear breath sounds on the left side, and that's the case. The second way to verify correct placement of the double lumen tube is to use a fiber optic bronchoscope. And the best way to do that is to open this cap to the tracheal lumen. And we're going to insert this scope down into the tracheal lumen and look at the level of the carina. So as we're advancing this scope down the tracheal lumen, we're eventually going to come to the carina. And it looks like that's carina right there. We can see that the right main stem is open and you can see that blue cuff right there occluding the left main stem. So that is perfect placement of a left double lumen tube. All right, so the other method of placing a double lumen tube is by using fiber optic bronchoscope. When you place the double lumen tube, you want to place the fiber optic scope through the bronchial lumen. Once at the uvula, advance the scope. Once you see the epiglottis, flex your tip upward and advance towards the glottic opening down into the left main stem. At this point you can advance the tube over the scope into the left bronchus. So once the tube is advanced, I'm going to back out of the bronchial lumen and go down the tracheal lumen. Alright, going down the tracheal lumen, I will see that the cuff is off, the bronchial cuff is off to the left and that is not herniating over the carina. Okay. The last method I want to show you in placing a double lumen tube is a combination of direct laryngoscopy along with fiber optics. So go ahead and perform your laryngoscopy like normal and insert your double lumen tube in the same manner to the level of the cords. At this moment, you want to have an assistant pull the stylet and hold the tube. You can remove your blade at that point and insert the fiber optic scope through the bronchial lumen. Once I'm in the bronchial lumen, I advance the fiber optic scope past the tube itself. When you exit the tube, you should see the carina in front of you. Advance and direct the scope into the left bronchus. At this point, your assistant can advance the tube over the fiber optic scope into the left bronchus.